Hello, uh, myself Dr. Koushik Bhatt, presently attached in the SSKM hospital as assistant professor of department of general medicine. Previously, I have discussed about the lipidemia and heart attack and today I will discuss about the heart failure and the pedal edema. Now, what is heart failure? Heart failure is basically defined as the pump failure. The heart is not able to pump the adequate amount of blood which it receives and when the heart fails symptoms like pedal edema that means leg swelling occurs. Now the leg swelling or pedal edema this is a very typical problem and very common problem we encounter in our day-to-day -day practices. There are several causes of leg swelling but the dreaded cause is heart failure. Now the heart failure can occur in two different ways. One is left-sided heart failure, another one is right-sided heart failure. The left-sided heart failure usually presents with shortness of breath that is breathlessness often presents with a cough with pink frothy expectoration presents with a exertional dyspnea and it relieves on taking rest and often may patient with a left ventricular failure presents with nocturnal shortness of breath nocturnal awakening due to cough and shortness of breath. Now come to the right-sided heart failure. The right-sided heart failure basically presents with leg swelling because the blood of the whole body drain into the right heart. When the right heart unable to pump adequate amount of blood to the pulmonary circulation then there is a congestion which is known as systemic venous congestion that usually starts with the pedal swelling that is lower limb swelling and gradually it increases and causing abdominal swelling and then upper limb swelling and the facial swelling so generalized edema or anasarca apart from this leg edema and anasarca the other symptoms of right heart failure are fatigability sometimes patient presents with the fatigue weakness that is a very non-specific vague symptom but the underlying cause may be the right heart failure and the both left heart and right heart failure sometimes occur in together and this is known as congestive cardiac failure and these are the symptoms of the heart failure and now the causes of heart failure there are several causes of heart failure amongst them the most important few causes of heart failure are one is hypertension that is high blood pressure number two is ischemic heart disease and myocardial infarction these two are very most important causes of heart failure and the third one is the valvular heart disease so in the left heart there is a mitral valve and aortic valve so in mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation in aortic stenosis and aortic regurgitation patient presents with a heart failure particularly in rheumatic heart disease so these are the causes of heart that leads to heart failure there are certain causes which are beyond cardiac part and those causes may lead to heart failure like chronic kidney disease that may lead to volume overload and heart failure anemia is a very
common problem in India and this anemia can lead to heart failure and another important cause of heart failure is diabetes. Poorly controlled diabetes may lead to diabetic cardiomyopathy and may lead to heart failure. Now regarding the management of heart failure, the heart failure can be classified grossly into two categories. One is heart failure with reduced ejection fraction where there is a pump failure so lesser amount of blood heart can pump and another part is heart failure with preserved ejection fraction in that case the heart can pump adequate amount of blood but there is failure symptoms now in the treatment of heart failure with reduced ejection fraction and preserved ejection fraction there are several drugs like diuretic which causes which causes reduction in the pulmonary edema reduce it it increases the urinary flow thus reduces the volume overload apart from diuretic we use the beta blocker which decreases the myocardial oxygen demand we use ac inhibitor and arbs which causes which improves the uh, remodeling of the heart and apart from these three drugs we treat the causes like hypertension we control the blood pressure and that also alleviates the symptoms of heart failure and the newer drugs like sacovitril valsartan that also improves the symptoms of heart failure and apart from all these things some instrumentation like ICD that also improves the heart failure. Now come to the difference between the preserved ejection fraction and reduced ejection fraction heart failure. The, all the drugs we use to reduce the symptom to reduce the morbidity and mortality due to heart failure but this all the studies showed that the all these drugs improves the morbidity reduces the mortality in heart failure with reduced ejection fraction group but the all the drugs reduces the morbidity that is the symptoms of heart failure in heart failure with preserved ejection fraction but the mortality is not reduced till that so the treatment remains almost same but the outcome is different so in case of reduced ejection fraction the outcome is much more better much more predictable than heart failure with reduced ejection heart failure with preserved ejection fraction so this is all about the heart failure symptoms its uh, causes and its management so to to uh, become safe to remain controlled and to avoid heart failure we have to control the causes of heart failure so you have to make regular blood pressure checkup to control your blood pressure you have to check your blood sugar to control your diabetes and you have to check your heart to uh, prevent your heart failure and one thing we have to uh, stress upon that the heart failure cannot be diagnosed by ECG so ECG is not the tool to diagnose heart failure so heart failure can be diagnosed by a uh, instrument which is known as echocardiogram so echocardiogram can diagnose heart failure so if you have symptoms like lower limb swelling if you have symptoms like shortness of breath if you are hypertensive if you are a diabetic then go for 
eco cardiography and look whether you are having heart failure or not thank you thanks a lot